Hey, what is up, everyone? It's Rich. All right, welcome to Monday, the day after Comic-Con. Like I said in the video last night, I'm amazed that I actually have my voice. Just a normal con, you, like, fry the shit out of your voice. That's one thing. You wake up and you're like, yo, what's up? All right, but anyway, I, I, but I bought a bunch of books, of course. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you saw, like, my little... It's a modest book haul. But uh, I got the uh, revised and expanded edition of um, Shadowline, the art of Ian McKaig. And uh, one cool thing that Stuart Ng, NG, um, had with his is they came with two signed prints. So not only do you get the expanded um, edition of the book, you get two art prints for 60 bucks. It was freaking cheap. They're really, really cool. Um, and, uh, we'll take a little peek at the book. I'm gonna try to keep this at 10 minutes. We'll do, uh, deeper dives on these, but, um, I'm trying to unpack, and then I want to get to work on, uh, Blaster Kid. So, that's what my day entails, but, uh, I wanted to put up some content. And this is the other print. It's a nice piece, honestly. More arty. And this is credited as 2021, so. But anyway... They're signed. I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, a lot of, uh, you know, sort of more famous artists, it's, it can cost 25 bucks just to get something that has their signature on it. So to, this book is gigantic, too, I have to say. Like, it really feels substantial. So this is the little thing inside. It's got a little preamble on Mr. McCaig. And let's get into this. I'm going to try to move somewhat slow. Everyone's a critic on my YouTube videos. Move too fast. Your camera work is shit. Your jokes suck. No, no one ever really says that. They used to. Um, but, uh, you know, these are casual. <laughs> Just trying to look at some art, man. I did actually ask David Finch, though, about um, setting up uh, more appropriate lighting and camera, so he gave me some tips. Pro tips. I was trying to think, what do they call it? Um, what was the... He says it different, because he's Canadian. Pro Process. Like, in the States, we say process. He says process. I thought it was a play on words, honestly, when he <laughs> when he had me on and he interviewed me and it was called process. I was like, that's pretty clever, like pro and then cess, and then you say it like that. Then I saw some other Canadian guy and it was something else, and he said Oh, it was a drum a drum uh, lesson that I was looking at. And they're a Canadian company and they called it process. Who knew? So, this is cool. Now, I don't know where the expanded edition comes into play, to be honest, on this. Oh, and dude, like my other books that I got, I'm so excited. Hold on. I want to show you really quick. This. This book right here. This book is the shit. It caught my eye on Thursday, and it was weird, because I didn't look through it. I just saw the cover, and I was like, oh, that's kind of nice. That looks pretty cool. like the color, and... um. I, when I went back on Sunday, I just, out of the blue, I was in Artist Alley working. I had no intention of buying any books. And I just all of a sudden went like, you know what? Go buy two books for yourself. Treat yourself to like something cool that you can go home and kind of get a little bit of like a sort of energy blast of like art um, that you haven't seen. McKaig book I've seen. Um, but I ended up getting, I think, five books, maybe six. Um, but, uh, um, this book is insane. I flipped through it and I was like, damn, dude, my instincts were spot on. But uh, yeah, I mean, um, I'm under the impression that this might be a female artist. She's so good. Oh my God. So we'll look at this one later. And then um, I'm not going to bother you guys and show you all the other ones right now. But uh, we'll get into the McKay book. So you can hear my neighbor's dog barking. I nicknamed him Sir Barks a lot. <laughs> I honestly don't know his name. I think that's a better name. Whatever he's named, my name was better. So this is... I'm not 100% sure, 
But uh, I, I kind of, like, it's the, in painting with fire, they did this thing with Frazetta. He had an unfinished painting um, that they used, and they kind of had him walk into it. And um, I thought it was an interesting coincidence that uh, it's that they kind of did that with my cake here. It's not animated, obviously, but nice piece. It's funny, I scrolled up and down him like he was a statue. I was going to check out his shoes. <laughs> I have some sort of boot like obsession lately just for art arting. <laughs> All right, Sir so Barks a lot. You need to stop ruining my video. <laughs> Fucking asshole. No. <laughs> He's a cute dog. He's an Australian shepherd. They're high energy. Okay, seriously, dude. I'll shut the door if he keeps barking. He's a little manic. All right, fuck this dog. This is nice. So let's let's actually. I'm gonna kind of skim and see if I can spot what I consider things that I haven't seen. So it's interesting. The reason that I actually got this book is, is I really actually do consider Ian McKay a little bit of a foundation in the way that I draw. Um, it wasn't really intentional, but, um, when I originally, originally started to pencil like seriously, where I was like, I really want to learn to draw and it's going to be like a career for me. I'd already been inking, but I mean, it was like, um, I've explained it before. Inking was a job for me. It's a cool job. I know some people actually aspire to be an inker, but I it, literally, I could have worked at a restaurant or done inking. I and mean, that was kind of like how I approached it. It was, it was like, I could maybe do this and it sounds like a fun job. So anyway, when I, when I started to get serious about art and I wanted to be what I consider a professional artist or illustrator, Ian McKaig and, um, uh, oh God, what is his name? Goodbrush.com. Craig Mullins. Those were two sort of new artists that kind of came on my radar. And I, I liked both of their, their stuff at the time a lot. And, uh, they both had really kind of cool concept art and stuff like that. And so, um, it really kind of made an impression on me and it was, it was kind of, sort of what I sort of hoped I could achieve with maybe comic art. It's a long time ago. So like talking like 12 years ago. So it's like, I mean, I've, I've changed a lot. I have a lot of different influences, a lot of different opinions on art. Uh, yeah, see, I don't remember these. Now they could be in the, the original pressing of the book, but I, I don't recall this. Uh, but yeah, McKaig, McKaig was a big one for me. He really was his, I, I said in the other video that, um, in like art of Star Wars books, his stuff was always, um, always stood out to me and always were my favorite pieces. I'm a huge fan of Dermot Power too, but, um, uh, yeah, McCaig really seemed to knock it out of the park. So, all right, I'm, I'm going to kind of wrap this up and then what we'll do is we'll come back when I have more time and we'll do like a proper open that book, but this is just sort of like a touching bases, get everyone kind of moving into their week. And, uh, yeah, I don't think that this, this stuff wasn't in the other one. Sorry, the shadow in the middle of the book. Oh, that's so cool. The dinosaur and stuff. So, all right, I will talk to you guys tomorrow and I'll do a longer video. Um, we'll start looking at more of this awesome art. This piece is so badass. Yeah, this was only sixty dollars. Sixty dollars with the two signed prints, and it's an enormous book. It's it's a nice big size and also large page count. Um, I'd say that there's probably close to two hundred pages, if not a little bit more, over two hundred, probably two hundred and sixty pages. All right, later.